So you all should have your little potato here, which is gonna be the body. And then the feet that we started yesterday. Now, if you line these up and place this on, you could see that is way too tall. What we're gonna do is we are gonna take the feet that we made and we're gonna start flaring this out quite a bit. Let me move that there. So we're gonna really go in and flatten it and flare it out. Don't worry if you have a little bit of cracking, that's okay. But you want to make sure that it's flared out, but you still want to continue to smooth it up. What we're doing is we're creating a really nice base to then attach, slip and score, and then smooth in. So that's why I said make them a little bit taller. Now, I went over, um, I believe in my fourth block the other day, I think I forgot to go over it first block, but if you want to incorporate any little toes like that, in there, you're more than welcome to. And I would do that just by simply pushing into the clay. Um, I think that this tool, the ribbon, the um, round part of it, just kind of like circling it and then smoothing in both directions. Just like how we discussed kind of defining the foot a little bit the other day. So if you wanna do something like that, you can. Um, if you wanna just leave it smooth, that's fine too. But you don't wanna have any sharp pieces, any little crumblies. And I'm still gonna work smoothing this leg up and I could flare it out a little bit if I want to as well. Now, you guys are gonna need some slip to attach these. If you don't have slip made right now, um, you could make a little bit and then attach these later today. Or if you just wanna use a bunch of water um, and the slip and score marks, that should work as well. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do this to every single foot. And you can kind of see how it's starting to line up. And once we get all four on, it's going to look different. All right. And then you want to make sure that they're completely flat like that so that we don't have any air pockets when we go to attach them. and try to get them all the same height. I think I'll go in and do to little toes on all of these. Um, I would recommend if you have, uh, you know, if your feet are a little bit different in size, maybe uh, using the larger ones as the back. I'll put toes on this one and I'll maybe I'll leave my other one smooth. And you guys can even like sculpt in if you wanna just push in with your finger a little bit and actually like define and make it a little bit more three-dimensional like that. All I did was go in where the lines were and then just push in and then just smooth it up.
and then you kind of see they're 3D. A little bit more. I like it. I think I kind of like them like that, but you know, it's up to you uh, what you want to do, your own style, but if you do want to add the little toes, I think they look cute. And like we said, William's legs are not perfect. They're all a little different because they were made afterwards. Well, one of them is an original. So I'm going in, I'm gonna make some little toes and then just make sure you're pinching out all these little pieces. I'm thinking that when we finish these, I may have them like all set up. All right, Manny. I may have them all set up and we'll have like a little hippo stampede. <laughs> Maybe I'll set them up by the library. They have a bunch of empty cabinets right now. Like I said, make sure this is pretty flat. Even if you want to give it like a low light tap, that could be a good idea. Put some little toes on there. I'm sad I didn't set up my microphone. Mr. Daniel's class, that it sounds good. So I'm really just like rocking this back and forth. To first get something like that. And then just using like the side of my finger to smooth under right where I made that line. If you guys find a different way of um, doing so, that's fine as well. There's never, you know, any right or wrong way. Even, I, I work mostly with pottery for my own work and everyone does something different. You know, there's the, the basics, but everyone has their own technique, their own way of doing things. So I'm going to just start to figure out how these look. Okay. So you guys are going to want to set your feet up approximately how they're going to go. And you're going to notice that the top is going to be a little bit larger, most likely, than what you have here. That's because we're going to then go ahead and blend them in. So set it up first. And you could decide what way you want to set it up. I think I'm going to use like that. And you could also make some taller and some smaller. This looks weird right now, but it's going to change, I promise. We're going to use all that to smooth up. Now, this is really important, um, your slip and score marks. I'm going to just tap that out a little bit more. Because 
you want to make sure that these really stay on. We don't want to just like stick them on. Make some score marks. You could use whatever tool. And you know, you might want to have one leg forward, one leg backward a little. You kind of decide what you want to do. And I'm going to line it up. If I notice I have a lot sticking out, I'm just going to go and, you know, just rip a little bit off, okay? Even if you guys need to rip a lot off, that's fine in order to fit them on. Like this one has a lot. So I'm gonna break it off. And I'm just gonna take some off the inside of this one. So if it's a little big, just take it off. We're gonna add in a little extra clay anyway. So line it up approximately how you want it to go. Um, I think I definitely want mine to have more of an arched back. So I'm gonna flip it this way. And then I'm going to go underneath and make some little score marks right where it matches up with the leg score marks. This is gonna allow you to attach one leg at a time without having to keep it in the same space. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to attach my front left one first, making sure that the toes are facing forward. Make some little score marks. And then I'm gonna use quite a bit of slip because I wanna make sure that there's no air in between and the slip will really fill everything in. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to attach that on. And I'm gonna flip it over to see kind of where it places itself. So I'm gonna move it just a little bit further back And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all this extra clay I have and I am going to smooth it into the form. And just like with anything, if you need extra clay, uh, just go ahead and grab some little bits and smooth it in. We're gonna um, sculpt the legs a little bit more tomorrow by adding on some extra clay so you know they're not just completely sticking out. You could also tap it down a little bit more into place once we get them all on and smooth it up a little bit more because we're gonna wanna make sure they're at the same height. And that way we'll also compress them. You could get a little bit more of a joint Okay, so I got my first leg on. This is the outside here. I wanna build it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of clay, make a thin coil, and on the outside of the foot, just kinda smooth both directions just to build up a very, very small little hip. 
So it kind of blends in there together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna attach my other front foot because I wanna make sure that they're both going to hold properly. So I wanna have my little toes facing forward. And I could already tell that I'm gonna need to flatten this one a little bit more. And you wanna to try to line them up so they are straight. Like I said, we could tap them in place, but you wanna to try to make sure that they are as straight as possible. So we are gonna slip and score these on. And if this takes you guys today and tomorrow, that is totally fine. We have all next week to finish these up um, with our little underglaze designs too, but I don't want you guys rushing through these. So I have my little score marks where I lined it up and then I got a bunch of slip and I am going to just attach that on really compressing it in and then use all this extra clay I have to smooth it. If your clay is dry, just take some fresh and use that. You could even cut a little bit of this off if you want to. Um, although I think smoothing it in is a little bit better because then you have that nice attachment. Um, you might want to even use like a tool to go in between and smooth that up a little bit because you could see it's, you know, it might be hard to get your hand in those small little sections. Any tool that will work for you. So you can manipulate them a little bit once they're on, if you want to move them, you know, kind of backwards a little bit, or forwards, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to tap them into place. So I got my first two little legs on. Now this one here, I did not put the little hip on. This one I did. You could see how much more even that looks and attached rather than just, you know, this little leg hanging on. So I'm gonna add a little bit of clay again and fill that in. And you guys can build up, uh, you know, however you want to. Make sure too that you have a picture in front of you. I'm gonna still say I think the legs I have on mine are a little tall, but that's all right. Because I want them to stand up like that. Okay. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing with the back legs. So just making sure you get a good amount of slip on there. A good amount of little score marks. Just blend it on. 
And in like the original sculpture, one of the back legs is a little bit further um, behind the other one. So if you want to do the same stance, you can, but I'll leave it up to you. And we're also going to tap these down, which will uh, shorten the legs a little bit. Also, I really want you guys to come glaze your owl planters. Owl planters, because I have so much aloe at home, and I could give you aloe for your planter. Oh, you're okay, Maddie. And I'll, I'll post this online tonight, too. If you uh, if you want to follow along later on, now for the back hip, I'm going to use a little bit more clay, and you could even see like how this one foot is up a little bit. We could just do a little tap, and it'll be fine. Okay, but we are going to build a little bit more of a structure tomorrow. And then we're just going to attach the last leg. And we will put some air holes in these before um, they dry out so that we don't have any accidents in the kiln. And I'm just gonna attach my last foot. So this is kind of where you guys should be today. Um, you'll notice that we do still have quite a bit to add on. So like right now, well, let's hope this leg stays on. But right now we're somewhere, you know, around here. That makes more sense. Around here. This has to be, you know, built up a little bit more, but that's okay. And then we have to do the whole head part. But I'll go over with you guys how to add clay on, how to smooth clay. like where you want to put the feet to once they're attached. They'll be fairly movable and if you run into any issues with it cracking, just add a little bit more clay. But I'm definitely going to go in and adjust these toes and everything a little bit more um, tomorrow when I show you guys how to just like sculpt the body a little bit more. And I want to give everyone time to get their feet attached and everything like that. Would you guys prefer, um, well, so kind of have something like this. This is what we're going for. All right, you got your potato, you got your little legs. We're going to go in tomorrow and we're going to really start sculpting, sculpting. Um, as far as like building up the back a little bit through here and then creating a neck. Um, but that's going to be the next step. I think we may have to get to that on Monday, but we'll see where we are. <laughs> 